All right, folks. Tim here from High and Cheap Deck again. And today we're doing our recording uh, at 720p because we're using the new Mobile G3 because it was on the top of the pile. And I still like the camera on this. And if you can deal with a dongle and all the steps you got to go through, it's okay. So... It's going to be a short video, and we're going to talk about uh, this guy right here. That's the uh, Xiaomi Mi A2, and, uh, which, of course, has the magic tag in the back there. You can see that it's sticking out. We're going to need a deeper case to protect that, so if it drops right on that, we don't destroy our USB-C port. But uh, I'm going to set it back over to the charger now. Wireless charging. And it's charging. And it's almost fully charged. So I've gone since I got home an hour and a half from I think 69%. We're at 97%. So we'll be good. <coughs> so let's get to the intro. What we're going to, well. What we're going to talk about is why you should get an Android One phone. And what is so cool about Android One phones, because they're generally much less expensive than a Pixel. Especially a new Pixel, although I'm loving the looks of the new Pixel. With the automated face unlock, totally secure, no damn notch, hole, teardrop, nothing. But, for now, the Xiaomi is my go-to phone. It works fantastic. Uh, let's get right to the intro and we'll talk about it some more. Okay, folks, let's get right to it. Here's the uh, Mi A2 from Xiaomi, and make sure you uh, read the description below, check all our links. Uh, this is still a fantastic phone, even though it's a year old, but it doesn't have a teardrop, it doesn't have a notch. It has a bezel up here. Oh my god, it's got a bezel. Yeah, guess what? We still get a beautiful... Uh, 1080p display um, I think it's 2160 by 1080 uh, and it has yes Android 9 on it and that's the whole thing here I did a video the other day and I talked about the fact that uh, I had uh, gotten the phone with Android 8 it immediately for a security patch on it, and at that point I headed over to work to use their Wi-Fi because I have Wi-Fi at home and I knew it was coming next. And sure enough, within two hours I had Android 9 just sitting there in the dark waiting and sure poof it showed up. Uh, installed it. So I got... Two hours with Android 8 on this phone, and it worked fine. Pure Google, you know, you swipe up and you get your app drawer, and yeah. it doesn't do some things uh, with the Google launcher that Nova Launcher will do. But uh, if you put Nova Launcher on, you're going to lose having your, you know, Google News and stuff over here, and your super nifty weather all that stuff so as i said two hours with eight and now we've got nine and i'm still learning all the settings in nine well guess what yesterday google announced the pixels are going to get or android 10 will be released. I don't know what the name is even going to be. Some kind of candy or pie or some, yeah, I, 
who knows so <laughs> we'll have two hours on eight um two weeks on nine because that's the beauty of android one phones without paying the pixel price for one of their high-end versions you get a phone like this with super great cameras and good performance and a battery that will get you through the day it's only a 3010 milliamp hour battery but unless you're sitting there just playing games all day uh, you don't really need any bigger battery I mean I got a 3000 milliamp on this new mobile and I, I got through day after day after day easily because I didn't sit around playing games and of course the new mobile would not adapt to uh, uh, a magic jack it just went nuts which I still think I got a defective port on it that's okay it's neither here nor there uh, the USB-C port works with everything else so we are going to need like I said earlier uh, uh, a non-stock GPU case with a, a deeper bumper down here or lower section you know to wrap around and protect our uh, magic tag deal and that will help us uh, if we, if it were to fall in any corner it'd be fine it's a metal back phone it, it's pretty durable to start with but if it lands directly on that it could damage our USB C port which would you know be a bad thing so I'll have to find a case we'll get that I don't know upcoming I've seen a few some bizarre colors and I now mean, I like the translucent color so I can show off the magic tag sitting back here now you can see it and uh it just so cool you can just slap it up there and I really like stock Google no it's not as good as Nova Launcher I don't think I can't swap these buttons around or do any of that but I can go in here and go oh let's get rid of our settings pull four out of our settings and they're gone it works good get an and if you're looking budget look first at android one phones but try to look for in the me a3 i can't recommend it at all it's got a teardrop uh notch at the top to me that's completely unacceptable but I just wanted to bring this up uh, we'll probably have a gaming review and then there'll be a final review um, showing you the videos I've been shooting videos on it and pictures like all yeah yeah and that'll be a much longer video probably but we'll be on Wi-Fi then I won't care how large the file size is I won't have to use handbrake which I'll still use on this uh, it'll be fun and yeah we'll have the gaming review in between uh, but I can tell you the EIS works great at 1080p obviously there's no EIS at uh, the 4k shooting I don't know why you'd want to do that and the only limitation to this phone 
is a 64 gig of storage, but I have 35 gig free right now. And that's because, and that doesn't even include the fact I shot like uh, a ton of car photos in the past week or so. And I don't need them. They've already been sent up to our website for our car dealership. And I've done a few open camera videos with it. And it works good too. Uh, open camera works just dandy on this. And it will allow you to activate EIS in 4K, I think at 30 frames. And it supposedly will help. But in most cases, most people are not using anything more than 1080 to view on. So, uh, all that being said and done, I uh, am out of here. Make sure to uh, read the description below. As usual, there's a couple of links down there if you're a uh, creator, make sure to check out our U our TubeBuddy link. It's an affiliate link. I get a kickback. Cool. And you can join the affiliate program once you're in. And number two, there's a link to where you can buy this on Amazon. And I haven't checked it today, but last I checked it was right around $154. $154 for roughly a six inch phone. 5.99 versus, you know, this one, the Alcatel 7, six inches. Oh yeah, 0.0001. Now, um, at one one thousandth of an inch difference, not worth worrying about. So, have a great night. Give us a thumbs up and make sure you uh, look at the um, reminder and mm -hmm, please subscribe to us if you like this kind of content and uh, pass the word on to your friends and your grandma and